Hey everyone! Recently I was lucky enough to go over to IMAX over in London so today it's going to be a makeup haul on everything I got. Um, so as I say I was over at IMAX on the Saturday and then on the Sunday I was in the middle of London as well doing some shopping so I'm going to add some of them pieces as well that I got. And yes, I am wearing my lingerie because I'm a big help. I'm just going to get start on the boring things first. So these are some lashes that I purchased and these are Lashes Unlimited. I'm just going to pour them all out in my lap. Just so many. Oh. And this is what they look like. This is the packaging of them. And these aren't make lashes, they're just normal strip lashes. And then I seen these ones and these ones are slightly different. These were actually more expensive than the last ones. Um, the only way I can describe these ones is they are like the Ardell double ups. So they're like these, only like double of these. I got loads so I'm not going to go through everything, every single eyelash unfortunately. And then I went to All Hail Kat Von D. I queued for an hour and a half to get this stuff. <laughs> the queue at Kat Von D was absolutely ridiculous like it was terrible how bad the queue was but I thought that I waited. The first thing I got from Kat Von D was one of her mini eyeshadow palettes. These are the mini quad eye contour palettes and that's what it looks like there. There we go and the colour I got was rust. There was other ones which were like green colours and blue colours, purple colours and more neutral colours but I thought that I would get more use out of this one because obviously I love these kind of colours and more warm browns rather than cooler tone colours on my eyes so I got that one and then I got her tattoo liquid liner I used this for the first time the other day I think it was my previous tutorial um, I've kind of been one to like I would just buy any liquid eyeliner um, as long as it's not felt tip because I'm not that fussy when it comes to liquid eyeliners really but I have to say this is by far the best liquid eyeliner I've ever used to achieve a wing make your flick with this eyeliner it was just effortless really because of the nib it was so fine and pigmented and I got two of her everlasting liquid lipsticks and the shades I got were Bonaro and Lolita I was gonna get um, Lolita 2 is it but then I was like no <laughs> I've spent enough so this is it's the shade Bow and Arrow and this is obviously a nude. If I didn't buy the nude, pff, what was wrong, honestly? Yeah. That's so nice. So that is it swatch there. I have a fairly colour brown tone nude, so that is perfect. This is Lolita. I don't know if I'll actually ever wear this colour because it's it's alright, but it's just not really me. Like I don't really wear these colours, if you know what I mean. So that's it swatched there. Whenever we were queuing for Cat Don, Cat Don Day, <laughs> Cat Von Day, the workers, like the girls that are working there, they actually came round and gave you a menu. But because the queue was that long, <laughs> they came round and they gave you a menu and a pencil. And what you had to do was it was the menu of all her stock list basically, and you just had to tick off everything that you wanted to purchase whenever you got round to like the makeup bit, if you know what I mean. Um, so I came across this and this is the Alchemist palette and I'd said to my sister, I was like, what is that? You know, because obviously like there was no pictures, there was just like the title of the product. So I'd said to her, I was like, what is the Alchemist palette? And she was like, Emma, it's her highlighting palette. And I was like, oh my god, yes! So this is her Alchemist palette. This is a eye and face highlight holographic palette. And that's it there. I have to say whenever I received this, I was a bit shocked. I actually thought it was going to be bigger, but yeah. So this is also the kind of highlighting palette that you actually have to swatch for it to actually reveal its true colours basically. So that is the colours there. This is the pink one, the purple one, the blue one and the green one. I think we'll just go for Inglot. So there was a massive Inglot booth and I only picked up two things. Quite exciting. So the two things that I picked up from Inglot were the AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadows and I got two of them. 
I actually wish I had got more from Inglot, especially these weed pigments, but this was the first time I'd ever tried these weed pigments, so it was kind of on a whim really, whether to buy more or not. So this is the first one I got, and this in the shade, this one is in the shade number 120. I don't really want to tip up too, over too much because it is a loose pigment, but that's it there. But that is the 120 swatch there. In different lighting, it looks like a bronzy brown colour, and then in other different lighting, it is it's basically holographic, like it looks pink going into blue. Yeah, like really fuchsia pink and then blue. And then this next one is in the number 125. This is probably my favourite one. I was actually wearing this in, let me see, my Kylie Cosmetics video where I was doing the giveaway. And that's it there. Oh, <laughs> so good. This pigment in different lighting is like a pure rose gold slash gold and it's like a pinky undertone. Oh, that is pure porn. That is it there. It's not really picking up the fact that it's like a, it is like a pure rose gold tone and then with like pink reflex to it but on camera it's just the pink reflex picking up obviously. <sighs> Stargazer! Oh. I nearly shit my pants! So if you don't know what a Stargazer is, Stargazer is an online company um, and they're like on Instagram and everywhere and they do like glitters and their glitters are insane. What I got from here was a, a white liquid eyeliner because I don't actually have a white liquid eyeliner um, which I'm kind of not too sure about white liquid eyeliners because some tend to actually crack on you. That's it there. I can kind of see by swatching it on my hands it might need a couple of coats. And I got loads of glitters. So I'm not actually going to open these glitters because just in case they get absolutely everywhere. So this one is called Dark Pink and that's it there. UV Orange and that's it there. This one is called just Violet. This is just a true deep purple. And most of them are all quite holographic as well, which I like. And this one is called Mars Crimson. And that's it there. It's called Hologram because this is just your basic simple silver holographic. It has to be my favourite one. This is Pastel Coral. And that's it there. And then this next one is called Lilac Cloud. And it's holographic too. Pine, that's quite different. I've never really seen a glitter that colour before. Let's move on to Urban Decay. Can you believe that I only got uh, four things from Urban Decay? And this is the size of bag that they gave me. It's a nice bag though. I just picked up the Optical Illusion Primer. And this is just a complexion primer. Soothing, rose hip and... Uh, Rose hip and argan oil, and it's pore perfecting. I don't really use a primer to be honest, but I think I'm going to start using primer like, because I wear so much highlighter. Um, you know, as soon as I apply highlighter, it's just like texture all up in your face. So I'm thinking of starting to use a primer just to like smooth out these areas. Oh, and I'm so excited for these. So these are their liquid lipsticks and these are their special effects liquid lipsticks. These are the top coats. This first one is called Monarchy and that's it there. They're not really as pigmented as I thought they were going to be. They were qu they're quite sheer but they're a top coat so I actually did swatch these the other day just to try them out and just to see so I could actually say on camera what they were like and they do dry down matte, they dry down absolutely beautiful so they do um, they dry down better than what they actually apply which isn't too bad is Seether, Seether and this one is like a burnt orange red with gold reflex through it I couldn't describe that one, that's why I didn't say this one's really patchy 
like you can actually even see that it's gone quite patchy. Oh, this is my favourite one. This one is absolutely stunning. So this is called Fever and this is a pinky peach coral with uh, basically holographic reflex through it. It is absolutely beautiful. I think even if this was shit, I would still love it because it's so pretty. Like because it's so holographic with the holographic reflex through it, like the peachiness, like the peachy colour tone doesn't actually show, show through, which I'm okay about really. Oh, I'm gonna do a bigger swatch actually. What am I doing? And that is it there. Look at that. So last but not least, there was this other booth and it was absolutely amazing that me and Abby queued in it. And this fella came up to us and he was like, ladies are you in the queue and we were like yes and he was like well the queue's behind you and we looked behind us and there was a sea of people and which i'm not surprised there was such a queue at this booth because what this booth done was milani violet boss sigma sigma brushes la girl galactic did i say violet boss i think i did the balm it was just on all these makeup brands. So I got this makeup brush roll thing because I spent so much. So the first thing I got was a Pro Conceal, the Elegard Pro Conceal Concealer. And this is in the shade Porcelain because these are great wee concealers. They are the bomb. And the next thing I picked up was these. And these are the Shadow Shields. Um, I've actually been meaning to buy these. So as soon as I see them, I just, I didn't even hesitate, I literally just picked them up because I've been seeing them online all the time, like eBay and stuff, but I just never really got around to actually buying them. So I think these might actually come in handy for like tutorials and stuff. Lani Bet Blush, and this is in the shade Bella Bellini. Milani's Bet Blushers are absolutely beautiful. Now I haven't a clue how to apply blusher or where to apply blusher. But, and I have two of these now, but I don't even regret it. These are stunning blushers. Like, look at that. It is beautiful. Then I picked up one of the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss. How can it be matte and a gloss? Whatever. I don't know why I picked this up because, like, it's pink. Why did I pick up pink? But I swatched it. And that's it there. It is the most beautiful Barbie pink, and I just fell in love with it, and that's why I bought it. I will probably never use this or wear this, but meh. Picked up the Galactic. Pardon me. <laughs> what a dirt bag. This is just a highlighter. I think I've heard Kathleen Lights raving about this. This is why I bought it really, because I was actually searching for it online quite a few times, but I could never find it. And that's the package in there. And this is in the shade Natural. It reminds me of the Balm Mary Luminizer. So it does, because it's just your nice, soft, natural champagne glow. Like there's, like it's not a blinding highlight, which some people aren't a fan of a blinding highlight. That's fine, whereas I want to blind the life out of you. Um, but it's just a nice sheen, a nice glow. Can we? <laughs> That's everything I got so far. I'm going to actually have to do a part two on this video because I'm still recording on my phone. And just before I say goodbye to everybody, I just want to mention that the giveaway is now closed. I did pick my winner last night and her name is Rebecca H. I'm not going to say her full name for safety reasons. <laughs> um, but also, like, I just want to say absolutely, like, thank you so much to everybody that entered the giveaway on Facebook and YouTube. But I also want to say, like, like I feel so guilty <laughs> because there were so many of you that obviously entered and there was obviously going to, at the end of the day, there was only going to be that one winner. But that's all I wanted to say. So now I think I'm going to go and film this other haul. <sighs> I swear to God. I... I love makeup but sometimes it can be quite intimidating <laughs> so yeah um thank you guys so so much for watching and i will probably see you soon oh